what's up everyone, it's your boy! Welcome back to the video, the Battle of the Titans. Trip Gaming vs T-Summer X1 in a battle, best of seven. Absolute slugfest, baby. This is going to go down to the wire. So if you guys are hyped for this video, smash the subscribe button. And in, the, in honor of Sam, elbow the subscribe button too. Let's go. Also in honor of Sam, happy Friday, boys. Let's go. This video is going to start, but before we do, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor of today's video. The best clothing line in California, baby. Into the AM, who's, who's hooked me up with the most sickest shirts, man. They look super sick. They sent me a few. I, I, I hate to break it to you guys, but I'm fat now. I normally have a belly, but this doesn't even show like I have a belly. So it's good, man. It's really, I really like this shirt. Go check it out for a great discount down below. Let's go. Check it out right now, because this will only last for a few days. So go sign up down below on their website and get some sick merch from them for an incredible price. With that being said, it's time for True Gaming for Team Satellite X1. Let's go. <laughs> You know what my name is? I am the Dino <laughs> G-O-D. You lose, you have to buy me a shawarma. Rock, paper, scissors. All right, I'm second. Right, that's a rock. You go, you go second. I'm going second. You're going second? I'm going second. Okay. And it starts, boys. Truth for Sam. Let's go. As you guys see here, I'll be playing Zodiac and Lich. If you guys want me to play Pendulums, let me know in the comments. Because if we get 20 comments down below saying, Triff, stop playing this shitty ass Zodiac deck and start playing some Pendulums, then the next video where I duel one of your favorite content creators, I'll be using Pendulums. So make sure to comment down below if you guys want to see Pendulums versus other cool content creators. Anyways, clearly here Sam is playing Dino. This is what Sam is known for. But I'm playing Dino Elich here. So we'll see how it goes. I ended up popping the Lost World because I all my trap cards get kind of screwed to Lost World. He ends up having a second one. I'm like, man, <laughs> damn. Because I wanted to negate the, the OV Raptor with one of my cards set. If you were to have one other thing, because he added it. And like, okay, that's fine. Regardless, I chain. He activates Misk, but I chain uh, Ice Dragon's Prison to the Miscellaneous Source when he activates this effect to be able to banish both the Misk and the OV before the OV is unaffected by, by, by everything. That way I do it like on the same chain so it still all gets banished. He ends up setting a card, and this is the, the beginning of the end for our friend Team Samurai X1 here. We're going to be playing a best of seven. This is going to be an absolute slugfest. So stay tuned for the whole video, boys. I'm going to be commentating the whole way through. I super sped it times three, just so you guys can actually not have to watch a 10,000 hour video or something like that. But yeah, so I'm going to pop that as well. And then I'm going to do some cool plays with the, with my Chakonite and my Dryden. And I'm going to go Nightmare Phoenix to pop the set. Ends up being Cosmic Cycle. So this is going to be 1,000 to Sam. Take that, Sam. 1,000 down, 7,000 to go. I end up using the Lord. And I did a cool play there. I don't care about Zeus. I'm playing against, like I have sets I have to set myself. I'm going to have a Dryden for free. So by doing that cool play, I got rid of the unknowns that I don't know about. As well, I put up a bunch of damage. My Dryden's going to pop his his Conductor if he has. And all my back row is going to deal with anything else he has. So he goes OV Raptor. I'm like, that's no problem. He goes searches Misk. I, I don't mean to pop the Dryden. I'm going to save the Dryden in case he has the OV Raptor. And instead, what I'm going to do here is when he activates the Misk, I'm going to use the Solemn Strike, which I was saving from last turn. And then if you randomly summons a uh, conductor, I just pop it with dry it. And that's game, baby. Take that 8,000 to the face. And now we are up 1-0. One 1-0, nothing. One nothing, baby. Let's go. We only have to win three more to win this this best of four, uh, best of seven. And yeah, I just get absolutely destroyed there by Feather Duster. I I, I just I hate Feather Duster, man. Uh, <laughs> you guys see how fast that was? I lost game two. I blinked and I lost game two. I'm sure you guys just blinked and I also lost. Just that's it. Sometimes you just don't have an out. I sided seven outs to Feather Duster. I didn't draw any. Sometimes you have seven. You know, I make him go first this time. Just in case he plays Lightning Storm. I don't care about what the Dinos do. If you play Zodiac and Lich, you don't care about what any deck does. You only lose to Light Feather Duster and Lightning Storm. That's it. Like, there's no other way you're going to lose. That's literally the only way. And uh, evenly matched. Those are the only ways you're ever going to lose. So, uh, in a deck like Dino, I don't care about their end board. I'm going to let him go first. I'm going to set five. Destroy his end board. And then destroy anything else he hasn't had for the follow-up. So we're good there. Uh, one thing I do want to know is I'm feeling nice in this shirt, boys. You guys definitely gotta check it out. They sent me three, man. And I'm not just saying this is because you know they because they reached out to me, but these shirts are actually so sick, so comfy. They look sick and they make you look big and like you know like sick and, and jacked. So I recommend it, man. Check it out down below. It's only gonna be the, the only video, or maybe two videos I have 
sponsoring these guys. So check it out while it lasts. They have a, an amazing promotion down below. So check that out, boys. And uh, yeah, here we go. We're just waiting for him to go into more dino plays. In my mind, I'm thinking, I hope he really overextends here. Because the more he overextends, the more I destroy more of his hand and his field. Because my hand is filled with trap cards that just destroy everything. Like Ice Prison, Needle Ceiling, Torrential, all those type of cards. That just destroy everything he has. So I'm just really prepared for it. Even if he has a Lagia, uh, I believe I had a Divine Wrath in my hand as well. Which Divine Wrath is actually an incredible card to be playing this format. Just because it stops Herald of Ultimateness. So it's a really cool card to play if you're playing a Trap deck. Uh, so he's going to go with... Uh, this is a big board, you know. Dweller... Dolka, Conductor, this is really good, you know, it's really good. But I'm just going to start 5 anyway, so <laughs> I don't really care. You know, but it's a good board. Like, this is going to stop Golden Lord. It's going to stop Golden Land, Golden Lord from summoning. It's going to stop my Golden Land Traps from summoning, uh, from setting. So that's actually, this is a really good play there. It's a really good play. So we're going to see what he could do here to actually protect himself. Because I'm still going to, I'm still going to try and devour him right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start my turn. He goes, this is a very good turn for him. I'm going to go into Link Spider and crash into Secure Garden. And I'm going to go Chris Elwan in main phase 2. To get Lord to pop. He negates the Lord and it's set 4. I'm like, it's, it's easy. I win, I win the duel here. And then he opens Feather Duster for a second fucking time. How many times does a human being have to deal with Feather Duster, man? Holy shit. Oh my god. You guys see what I mean? How crazy this card is? What the fuck, man? Oh my god. I hate this card. I hate this card. I hate this card. Fuck, Dino suck. It's just Feather Duster. Anyways, I'm molding on my own here. But it's okay. You know, the duel, he, he's going to kill me now. He's playing Dinos. So what can I do? I can't set two cards. Because I'll just get OTK to two cards. So against decks that OTK, you just pray they don't have Feather Duster. And I side seven outs for that. Even going second. I lose that one. I'm down 1-2 now. I let him go first. I'm like, man, you're not, I'm not giving you an extra card to drop Feather Duster, bro. I, I'm only, that's my only fear. Feather Duster, Lightning Storm, and Evilly Match, those are my only fears. He says he breaks and passes. I'm like, I have anti-spell. He, he probably has Lightning Storm. That's okay. Flip. I'm safe from Lightning Storm. It's all good. Game three here. And then he hits me with the fucking Evilly Match. What the? How many, dude? <laughs> How many times does someone need to get hit with a Feather Duster or a Lightning Storm or Evenly Match? Man, what the? Come on, bro. I'm getting sacked out here. And then he hits me with another Lightning Storm, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, man. But it's okay. You know what? He sided 10,000 cards to out my, car, out my deck. If he doesn't have a Dino here, I win. And he top decks a dino, man. What the? Ah, so unlucky, bro. So unlucky. I even had the anti spell for the like lightning storm and stuff like that, man. <sighs> what could you do, bro? What could you do? This is why you guys gotta comment down below. You wanna know a deck that doesn't care about evenly match? Decks that play Mighty Master because it just negates it, baby. You guys gotta comment down below, boys. Twenty comments. And I will reach out to a content creator and whoop their ass with pendulums. Let's go. But you guys gotta, you guys gotta comment down below. To tell me. But boys, it's okay. This game's not over. I'm still gonna attempt my comeback. You can see me moving on my chair at the bottom of the screen, kind of, because I'm like, man, I just got hit with three board wipes. This ain't looking good for your boy. But we're gonna see what happens here. He goes into the secure gardener. I'm like, man, this ain't over. This ain't over. This ain't over. This ain't over by a long shot, bro. Not by a long shot. Uh, he does. He does tornado my torrential. He tornadoes my torrential tribute, which destroyed me. I really have to hope he didn't hit the torrential. Uh, my other two cards, I didn't care about whatsoever. I was really just praying he hit the other one. So he ends up uh, going. So it's my turn. Uh, that's like a Quisidor. Sorry for the glare. Eight hundred by Elland. Eight hundred might hurt me, but it's okay. I end up searching Lord here and popping. I go Nightmare Phoenix. I discard Phoenix. And I use Phoenix Effect uh, to pop the set just so I know what it is. And he hits me with the called by. I'm like, man, are you joking me, bro? I had to transmine because there's nothing else I could transmine in his turn regardless. Uh, there's the nothing good. He's going to pop a tornado. I'm like, I, that was my last Lord because Evenly Match banished one of the Lords. So I had to do a Neg Plate to save my Lord. And I'm like, man, and then he, oh, man, it's, what could you do, man? Evenly match, we couldn't come back from it. We couldn't come back from it. 
We're down game game down three one, man. He won three in a row. But I told him, man, I'm gonna pull LeBron James on you, and I'm gonna pull what the Cavs did to the Warriors in 2015. I'm gonna win the next three games here and do the the greatest comeback. Because how many times can a human being drop feather dust or lightning storm evenly match? It's just impossible. He already seen it three times. It's just impossible for him to see it a fourth. It's just impossible. It's just impossible. So here, yeah, let him go first. I'm like, go ahead, dog. Do what you want. I have no fear. I have no fear. Again, I cited out seven outs to Father Duster every game. Game two, game three, and four. But he had Father Duster game two, game three, and then he had the evenly, which I had it out for Lightning Storm, but he had the evenly. That's an issue with anti-spell. It doesn't stop evenly match. Uh, I'm legitimately debating playing Dark Bribe and going neg just to stop <laughs> all these spells and traps, man. Anyways, no, I'm, don't play Dark Bribe. Card's ass. Okay, anyways, so we're going to go here into, this is like I said, game five. He goes the Dweller play. He's kind of debating here if he wants Dolkar or Dweller. I'm like, take your time, no problem. You can decide yourself. Then we're going to see who ends up winning this because he's going first and he has a field spell in the field of monsters, which means Lightning Storm and Evil the match are going to be dead for him. So now all I fear is just uh, Feather Dusters. And I have the out. I have an Imperial Order in my hand right now. So I'm safe through that. He does have to do kind of a neg play to put an extra dinosaur in the graveyard uh, to be able to use Evolution Pill and uh, uh, potentially use Giant Rex. So he's just thinking here how, if he wants a neg, if he wants to not neg. Him using Tornado on the spell it makes me think he might have Evenly Match Lightning Storm. So I'm just kind of seeing here what he might want to do. Instead, he goes into Na Nightmare Phoenix and then goes Evo Pill from there. He keeps the Giant Rex underneath thinking he doesn't need it, and that's fine. And then he's going to go into the Conductor's Conductor, and he's debating Tornado or Dolka. Decides for Dolka to stop the uh, Golden Lord from popping the, the, the Conductor or the Tornado. So now he's going to have Dolka and Conductor. And he, I banish his Link Karibo, so he had to, it was forced, or the Secure Garden or whatever, one of them. So he was forced to go into Nightmare Phoenix. Then I'm like, okay, this is better. No lightning, so no evenly match. I have zero fear. As long as I don't get hit by Feather Duster, which I even have Imperial Order, so I don't mind. One card in hand, set five. I'm like, all right, let's go. <laughs> so he starts off. I'm like, I'm waiting for him to play that Feather Duster so I could Imperial Order his ass. He goes Extravagance, and I hit him with an Imperial Order. I'm like, not today, friend, not today. So at this point, it's the beginning of the end for him because uh, his Feather Dusters are dead for the rest of the duel. And I'm waiting for him to overextend. I have a Torrential Tribute set and some other stuff. I'm waiting for him to really overextend and potentially hit main phase because there's always a chance for him to have a miskin hand. I wait for a battle phase, and in the battle phase, I go Wakero, and then I go Wakero, Torrential Tribute, and I blow up everything on the field uh, going into main phase 2. Now, uh, yeah, so he gets to use the effect of this. I had to do that in battle phase because if I did that in main phase, there's a ch chance of miscellaneous. And then after I hit that with the strike, he'll use the effect of baby here. Uh, and I negate the baby with strike. Uh, I torrential on, on the baby. I use it on strike. That was a misplay because what I should have done was wait for Ovi Raptor hit to hit the field. And then use strike on the Ovi Raptor. And now I allow him to have a free normal summon that's good for him. So that was a misplay on my end. I would have taken it back if I could. But I didn't want to do that. Like, at that point, it was way too late. But uh, like I hate taking back misplays unless it's like in, within a second. you know. So I didn't want to do that. I realized it was a little too late. I take 700 from Imperial Order, and then I set cards and, and pass. There's no way he can beat me at this point. Legit, there's no way. Uh, second, you have I, I drew a Golden Land card. And second, you have one Golden Land card. It's just game over. Or sorry, I had the Wakero. So I used Wakero to set the Scarlet. So it's just over. There's nothing he can do whatsoever. I got Tarantula here reading that he doesn't have a Misk. Uh, he had some lines of play where if he had Misk, he would have used it already uh, to, to continue playing. And he didn't use it, so clearly he doesn't have a Misk. Uh, unless he hard drew it, the there was one left in his deck at like 30 so it's a good call to use it then in case of lagia and then i have a golden lord in there sorry for the glare and then i just sent a battle he's like yeah i can't win this and then we're gonna go now into uh game number six so game number six baby game number six send your energy for your boy let's go game number six game number six i sat four i have a solemn judgment he starts off with something that's not by the duster so i'm like we're lit i have solemn judgment he doesn't have any of those there's no way I could lose this duel. No way. So he goes into Misk. I uh, strike the Misk. Uh, good play here uh, by him going over. He was playing around the Ice Dragon Prison that you learned from game one. Uh, he chain blocks that with the Lost World. Uh, that was a mistake on my end. I actually should have Solemn Judgment, the normal summon here. That was a big misplay on my end. This gives him a follow up for next turn and some other stuff and lets him attack into the baby. This is a huge misplay. Uh, I should have Solemn Judgment did the, the Ovi Raptor normal summon because uh, Strike cannot be used with Lost World chain blocking. But I could have Solemn Judgment, and I wanted to save the Solemn, but that ends up costing me. Uh, I would have had a strike over a Solemn, and in this situation, the only stuff you want is Solemn is just Feather Dust from Evenly Match, and he doesn't have any. So that was a misplay in my end. I end up I, I had a I, I had a Golden Lord in my hand, 
I ended up top decking a second Golden Lord. I'm like, man, I literally could have drawn anything else in my deck just to be able to play here. But this things are looking bleak now. So I have, I have a Solemn Judgment and a Torrential Tribute set. I can't Torrential now, obviously. He ends up using, uh, at this point, I'm like, man, just if I saw him that OV Raptor, this game was mine. And a, a misplays like that go a long way. So I want people to learn that misplay. Sometimes using Solemn Judgment before Strike is the correct play. I want to use it at the very end to save some light points. I'm like, that's so stupid. Yeah, I need him to not pop the Torrential Tribute here to have a chance. If I Solemn Judgment to summon here, I just simply lose. Uh, but by light points, uh, he could kill me so easily. Uh, so I saved my Torrential. I'm like, fuck, I needed that Torrential to be saved there. I know he has a miss. He could do a lot of other stuff. And then I would have just lost because my Torrential would be dead. He'd go Conductor. And I lost. So GG. GG's. I lost. KJ, bro. You lose, you have to buy me a Shroma. It's official. I just lost to Sam. Even worse, I uh, I just lost to Shroma. But not really. Mmm. This is delicious. That was heartbreaking, boys. We lost the we lost to Sam. Sam played a great match there. We lost four to two. If you guys want to see the rematch of Pendulums versus Dinos, smash the subscribe button and comment down below if you guys want to see it. Also, before we end this video, don't forget to check out down below into the AM baby. Check out their amazing t-shirts. They have some amazing styles and they fit amazing, bro. I even though I lost, I feel like I won because I'm wearing the second shirt. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash the subscribe button. Check the link down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!